William. Yeah. Hey, so Final Fantasy Remake, isn't that, that isn't all hyped up as, as people make it out to be? This game isn't that great. <laughs> that's my, that's my controversial opinions right now. I'm playing through Final Fantasy VII Remake, boy, this game feels like, a, <sighs> feels like a goddamn chore to play right now, Jesus Christ. Really? Yeah. I mean, we really should be, we're supposed to be talking about Guns of Kimba, but let, yeah, sure, let's just go off on Final Fantasy yeah, VII. Yeah, I, 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 I just want to rant about, I just want to rant about Final Fantasy VII, just, $60 for this game is a scam, holy shit. This game is literally just my mini game so far as what I've been playing through. No, you see, my thing is that it's episodic. That's what annoys me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boy, if you pay $60 for this game, you're a fucking idiot. If you pay $80 for the deluxe edition, you're a bigger idiot like me. Oh god, how much? How much do you want to bet? It's only going to be three, 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 uh, three uh, episodes. No, no, it's going to be seven episodes. All the... right, it's going to be seven episodes. There's no. No, that i would be pissed off. If it was seven episodes, <laughs> but it was be... like what three discs on the original, right? Yeah, it was like three discs. Yeah. No. No. Yes. No. Wait. No. This game came with. You know, this game came with two discs. What? Oh, you mean you mean the uh, the the physical copy for final, the remake? Yeah, it came with two discs. It came, what the fuck? It, yeah, it came with two discs, and it could, no, because one of them is an install disc, because this game's like a hundred gigs. They had to include one of them. I think the main game is wow. the 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 disc. The main the game disc is like eighty gigs, and so they're like that's not that's that's not enough space. So then they gave you a second disc that's like twenty gigs. Like, hey it, hey, insert disc one, in, install this data first before you can play the game. So I had to sit through half Jesus, an hour of, of data in, of install before I was able to play this game. They, they really need to like fucking compress their shit, dude. Well, this game they is really, really need compared to, to Final Fantasy boss. 15 now. After mm -hmm. going back, Final Fantasy 15 is actually better. That's my that's my controversial hot takes right now, William. So in Final Fantasy 15, mm -hmm. you can have four party members. In Final Fantasy VII yeah. Remake, you can only have three party members. Lame. <laughs> there we go. But is, wasn't, isn't Final Fantasy XV, like, I haven't played it through the whole thing. I only played the beginning, and it was only based, like, I think that was, like, the demo or whatever. Yeah. I think it was a demo. I don't remember. Yeah, it was the demo. Um, but wasn't that actually, wasn't it, wasn't it actually good? I mean, I mean, look, Final Fantasy wasn't... XV, it causes a divide. People say it's good. People say it's not good. I, I think it's good because I like, because it, because Final Fantasy XV had a way more open, open game for you to play with compared to compared to this game oh like a lot more uh you can do a lot more than what you yeah because literally there, right now Final all Fantasy this game 7. is just this game is literally just hallways literally there is no there is no freedom of of, of travel in this game you're just like you're li i'm literally just been playing this game as a hallway game holy shit dude. yeah all right, all right hey that's enough that's Jesus. that's enough that's enough hot takes about final fantasy 7 remake uh, well, yeah, well, well, watch, watch, watch the continued hot takes in uh, in part two. Oh on yeah, well, well, why? Well, I should <laughs> talk more about Final Fantasy VII remake and how people are, are hyping this game up for no reason. God, dude. <laughs> Alright, but <laughs> that's gonna be the recurring segment <laughs> now. Dude. Every episode, I'm just gonna start <laughs> off with Final Fantasy Seven Remake hot takes. <laughs> it's oh. like they had to they had to connect all of the fucking fucking reviews just to get the truth of the true review yeah, for Final yeah, Fantasy true, Seven Remake. That's right. I'm gonna break it up into parts, just like just like Square Enix. Welcome <laughs> to episode one of the Final Fantasy Remake review. <laughs> It's like seven review, seven reviews. <laughs> you have to put them together to get the one review yeah. for Final Fantasy VII. God. <laughs> William. Yeah. Okay, so my problem, my, so continuing on with my problem of Final Fantasy VII remake. Oh my remake. god, I forgot. <laughs> what a tease. God damn it. Continue with my Final Fantasy VII remake rant, right? So my problem with this, I don't know if it's because I'm spoiled by other Final Fantasy, but fucking Christ, this game is just so fucking linear. Like I don't remember this game being this linear in terms of in terms of story. Like I, you, I literally just keep, literally everything I've been doing in this game has just been going from one hallway to another hallway. Like this mm -hmm. wasn't the original game. But it's the problem with this game is right, they're taking part, they're literally taking a small part of the original game, right? And they literally yeah. stretched it out, but the problem is they stretch it out so so much. Since they stretch it out so much, there's no they they have to fill it with space to make it to make it seem like it's worth it's worth the stretch out with this game. Mm. That's my problem with this game so far. It's like they're literally they took because you, this game is all only all the way up to Midgar, right? It's all the way mm -hmm. up. Yeah, so they're like fuck. But but when you remember playing Midgar, then you could. It wasn't that long. You could just be like, all right, 
All right, we're done with Midgar. We can actually go play the actual game. Cause Midgar, the original game was just literally just like a fucking demo. We just was just sort of like a tutorial if you did the grip of the game. But they're like, oh, we had to take uh -huh. the demo section of the game, and we get, and we gotta make a full game out of it somehow. And it doesn't work. <laughs> it's my problem with this game. It's, uh, it's so right now this game is just seems like it's just full of fluff. It's what I'm doing right now in this game. Like so right now in the game, I have to go. I have to go save Earth because she got kidnapped, right? But, yeah. but but I'm looking for missing children instead. I'm like, yeah, this <laughs> girl that saved my life is being kidnapped. But there's some kids missing, and you know I gotta I should probably go find those missing kids. All right, done shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and also the the level cap is only fifty because they 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 didn't want you to grind all the way to level ninety nine. All right, the game is lame now. Yeah, the game is lame now. That's, oh, that's the game is lame just that just because of that. All right, where the fuck am I going? Uh, I guess I'm going this way. Yeah, that's yeah, that's my problem with this game. It's just like there's, a... oh, I hear growling from the <laughs> God. Yeah, that's just my problem with this game. It's, just, it's like, like there's, it's, they're just, it's just so much fluff. They're just fucking putting stuff in. They're like, and hoping people will still think this is the best game ever. <laughs> this game is not the best game ever. I don't I mean, know. If they play... Yeah. I mean, look, like man, said... if they want to play the best game ever, then they can just buy the original. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, because the problem with this game is just, it's just, yeah, it's like I don't know if it's I'm just spoiled by modern RPGs. With stuff like The Witcher or Final Fantasy XV uh -huh. or any other, or even stuff like Horizon, right? Because Horizon, you could at least Horizon had me freedom to do whatever the fuck I want. Instead of just instead of this game is really just forcing me to go from one plot point to another. But in Horizon, I'm like, yeah, I could go save the world, or I could go find some missing children. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. If anything, RPGs always have a lot of fluff stuff that they use to like extend the, the lifeline. Like I remember yeah. in um, an example, Dragon Age Inquisition has a whole bunch of fetch quests. Yeah. Ugh. They're like, go get these in this location. Go get these herbs in that other location. That kind mm -hmm. of stuff, right? Yeah. And where the fuck am I? Going? I mean, in terms of Final Fantasy, a lot of it's always, well, maybe not always. But there's always been a linearity to it. I remember that being an issue with 13. But the thing is, by now or by then, it should have been more open than that. Yeah, but at least in 15, you had open world. You had, you had open worlds out of you to do. But this game, there's no open world out on it. I mean, hot takes. Final, yeah. Fantasy, Final Fantasy 7 Remake is more of a hallway simulator than Final Fantasy 13's hallway simulator. That's a, that's Ouch. A, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a real hot take right there. Damn. Just wait. It's gonna be like hallway simulator for this for this part. Then the next part is just gonna be all open oh, world. Oh, open world! Gonna... No, we're just gonna go <laughs> fully open world. Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay. And then the one after that is just gonna be hallway. Again. Oh, okay. oh, 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 we're just gonna go from hall. Oh, that, that, that's gonna happen in, in episode in in remake part three. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. William. No. Yes. Okay. So, no. I, all right. So here's my problem with Final Fantasy VII. Right. This game is too dark. Right? Right? This game is dark. Okay, oh god, okay, we're going, we're going right into it. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. No, 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 I'm not talking about it's dark from a story perspective, like, like it's a dark setting. No, the game is literally too dark for you to see it. This game has really bad lighting issues in areas where it's nearly impossible for you to see. So, so, so I have a bright TV. My TV is, is on, it's on average brightness. Like, 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 I'm not, I'm not blind, so I have to, so I have to turn my brightness all the way to the max, right? Like, you can see stuff in this game, right? If I were to play, like, like, like a night game, you could see that shit, right? Right, but the problem is, uh -huh. this game is so, the color balance this game is so fucking bad to the point where I had to do, I had to do some night missions in this game, play, and you couldn't see shit. Like, oh, it was really bad to the point, and my, my, and and I'm in a fairly lit room, so so everything is is, is seeable, right? But this the night segment and the underground segment is game are so fucking bad that that I had to pause the game and turn the game's max brightness up all the way just so I could see shit in this game. Like goddamn, the fucking lighting in direct in this game is so fucking bad at at times. <laughs> Jesus. You're Christ. okay. All right. Nice to know. All right. So, all right. That's the Final Fantasy Dark Rant for today. Uh, tune in tomorrow for the <laughs> for the next rant. It's <laughs> I think at the end Jesus of this, Christ, I'm probably dude. just gonna take all the audio clips of me ranting about Final Fantasy Seven Remake and just splice them together. <laughs> it will be just an incoherent, an incoherent review rant of the game that that's so that's out of that's out of pace. Uh, hey, what movie? So apparently, just like the game, apparently from how you're telling me this is going. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm almost done with the game. I have, I have more to talk about the game. But that's just me talking about the darkness of the game right now.
God damn. Oh my God. I have so much to Are you going to complain about the... Are you gonna complain about the brightness later on no, too? Probably, what's maybe. Gonna happen? Maybe, maybe. Oh no, no, no! You know the worst part about this game is still speaking about the lighting setting of the game. So, so you know when you go outside and come back inside, there's a whole lighting shift, right? It takes a while for your eyes to adjust, right? Yeah. The game does that shit. Uh -huh. When you go to a bright setting into a into a inside a building, it, it, the game takes like 20 seconds or takes like five seconds for for you for so it acts as if you're you're doing the. Your your eyes are okay. adjusting for no fucking reason. It, it doesn't have to do that shit. I don't know why they did. It's really annoying because I I was walking out of a house from a from a dark house into the mm -hmm. outside, and then when I walked outside, the game had to do the whole fake eye adjustment, uh, getting to know your side. It had to do that oh, dumb shit. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, this is so. I mean, what? I mean, to be to be honest though, like it's like. I think they're trying to go with a lot of realism for it because okay, okay, I remember wait, wait, seeing this wait, somewhere. Wait, 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 like with, wait, wait, there's, uh -huh. there's no fucking magic chicken running around or, or giant or, or girls with fat anime titties just running around, all right? In real life. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but like, no, that's my my. <laughs> Jesus. No, that's my thing though. Like, they, wasn't there like a whole thing where um, like uh, they're trying to get like down to like I don't know something about like you can see veins and no. like cloud or something yeah, or whatever. That's iron. how the, that's I don't the, know. The, the only thing people want to see is, is how big Tifa's uh, titties are, but they downsize that in this game. Did you ever read that interview, by the no. way? No, uh, I didn't read the interview. I knew this was a thing. I didn't read the oh. interview of this. Though. Okay, yeah, yeah, because so because the more wanted wanted to have Tifa have big ass big fat anime titties, but Screeny said no, they're too big. We can't make them that big. He was like, what? I want them to be bigger. They're like, no, no more. You can't make them. You can't make her her, her, her fat anime titties this big of fat anime titties. He was like, damn it. He was crying. This feels. Uh, I, I feel like what you're telling me is like a joke. That's what I feel no, like right it's now. True. It's an actual thing. The more wanted fat anime titties on Tifa, but Square Enix told him no. He said no. You can't. Okay. You know. You know. Okay. You know what? Here's the thing, Austin. Just send me the goddamn link. Okay. Get I'm it. gonna read that later on. Okay. I have to find it. I'm gonna read that. All right, William. So the thing about Final Fantasy VII remake, right? There's a. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> all right. So I I, I finished the game. Right. I finally finished the game. Right. Oh, yeah. this, well, this, you mean uh, part one of the game? Right? Yeah. Part. Yeah. Part, yeah. Yeah. The the biggest scam. <laughs> This game is a fucking scam, <laughs> alright? So here, I really Holy hate shit. the last segment of the game, because the last segment, I think in my opinion, is probably the worst part of this entire game. Mm -hmm. So throughout the entire right. stuff, the, so literally the last segment is, is the motorcycle minigame garbage you, that you play in, in chapter 3. They make you really, you have to go through an entire motorcycle thing that takes up like 30 minutes or some shit. <laughs> That takes up 30 oh minutes, and, and if you die at any point, the game, also the worst part of this motorcycle sequence, there's no checkpoint. It's broken up into like four segments, like first you fight dudes on motorcycle, then you fight uh -huh. a robot, then you fight some more dude, and then you fight a bigger robot, right? There, yeah. There's no, there, there is no checkpoint at any point. So wait, you can't just like finish one segment and then no. You know, so if you, you die at any, there. if you die at any one of the four segments, you restart from the beginning of the segment over again. Oh, that's bullshit, dude. Yeah, I, I got, I got. That's actually kind of bullshit. Wait, wait. Did you yeah. start? From, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Do you actually start from the? Oh no, no. Wait. Mm, maybe I don't remember. I finished the game and I, and I try to get that part out of it. But that, yeah. But that's my motorcycle. I really met the last segment. The game is literally the motorcycle mini game bullshit. You have to play again. I don't think actually. <laughs> wait, hold on. I think you actually do restart from the segment. Never mind. I, I know what. I know what, I died at the last segment and it made me start again from from that part. So I guess I think if you die at like if you die at part two or three, you start from part one. But if you die at part four, they they fortunately let you start from part four of the segment. So that's okay, not bad. Well, but thank God for okay, that. yeah. But also the other problem, a reason why I hate the last segment of the game, it's it's literally a mini boss rush, and that it, and it, it's the worst thing ever. So do you remember in Kingdom Hearts one? When you fight Ansem, when you go to the to the to the door of spookiness, yeah. you go yes. to the dark door and you fight Ansem in like twenty forms or some shit. Yeah. Right. And so you first you fight like Ansem. Twenty fucking rooms or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you fight Ansem. You fight the dark areas. side. Then you fight Ansem. Then you fight Ansem's penis. Then you fight his dragon. Then you fight his the inside of his penis. Then you fight the outside of his dragon penis. Right. So during the mm -hmm. last segment of the game, when you before you fight Sephiroth, you go through all these these fucking giant ass one long gameplay cutscene where you have to fight against stupid ghosts from the future, right? Oh yeah, because the story of this game is fucking garbage. I hate the last segment also ruins the game in my opinion. So during the last segment of the game, right, where where you yeah. um where where you mm -hmm. before you fight Sephiroth, you have to go fight some fucking ghosts, right? So you fight one ghost, you fight three ghosts, then you fight one ghost, then you fight two ghosts, then you fight three ghosts, then you fight a dragon, and then you fight three ghosts again right then mm -hmm. you fight the big ghosts 
then you fight the big ghost, right? If you die at any uh-huh. of these ghostly segments, you start again from the from the three ghost battle at the beginning. Oh god. And, and then when you fuck. actually fight Sephiroth, right? If you die at Sephiroth, do you know how I know this? Because I died when I first fought Sephiroth because I didn't know what I was doing. You start again from the three ghost fight. <laughs> I was so fuck. Dude, this game has no checkpoint system. At the last, during the last figure, I was so fucking annoyed. It's like, it's not even the, the so so so. This is not even the argument of get good, right? This is just bad gameplay design. Like once, like like I was expecting at least all the way up into Sephiroth. Once I reached Sephiroth, I would at least get a checkpoint system, right? Because because mm-hmm. so as soon as you reach the penultimate boss, I mean, right, the actual boss, you should literally get a checkpoint. But no, if you die at the Sephiroth, they literally make you go all the way back to the fucking beginning of the whole fucking. G- ghost boss bullshit you had to deal with all that bullshit again i was so fucking told i was like what the fuck this is actually fucking bad game 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 design i was so fucking mad at that shit holy shit man i was really sounds fucking like annoying fucking, yeah sounds like a yeah roller coaster there. it was a fucking roller coaster and don't get me st- and you know what the worst part is about that whole last segment the last segment is one is one big unskippable cutscene that they try to oh, integrate, uh-huh. integrate into gameplay. So, so throughout the game, so, so basically, so, so you know how there's an overworld menu and a game and a an in battle menu, right? Like, like you know what's the difference when you're in battle and when you're in, in, in the overworld, dicking around, hoping, mm-hmm. helping to find missing children or some shit, right? Yeah. No, uh-huh. no, they literally treat the last segment of fighting Sephiroth as one whole battle segment. So you literally cannot skip cutscenes, skip all the mini. I mean, is, is that, these are not even like QTE events you get in the game. Like in God of War, when you get like stupid QTE event. No, literally throughout, little in between all the ghost fights, you get like these mini cutscenes that you cannot skip. So it literally takes you way longer than you need to. So if you die, you literally have to go through all that cutscene again. And I and I had to go through more than multiple times because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. And I was really confused. Like I was, I was so fucking annoyed. I hate the fact that they tried to put these fucking stupid cutscenes in the middle of the game that you can't skip. I was so fucking annoyed. So you had to just sit there and watch them talk and watch and watch Aerith die like 20 times again because they you see her in the future because that's the whole oh thing about this God. fucking game storyline. You know what the worst part about this? There's there's a well, to be sure, there's a lot of worst part about this game, right? The Sephiroth mm-hmm. you fight isn't isn't Sephiroth isn't the Sephiroth you know. It's a Sephiroth from a different timeline. Bullshit. What is going on with this? Oh game? yeah 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 yeah. So no, more so I've been saying this since. since Ever since like 2013, Nomura's a fucking joke, right? Nomura, Nomura doesn't know shit. I don't know how the fuck he's still at Square Enix, but he just keeps jerking him off too much. But fucking Christ, Nomura can't write a story to save his fucking life. So basically, so basically, the Sephiroth that you fight in this game is a Sephiroth from like a different timeline who wants to kill the planet. So after they defeat that Sephiroth, do you, do you know what they say? We have what? to go kill the Sephiroth in all reality to prevent him from becoming that Sephiroth. <laughs> I was, like, I was like, that's not how it works. <laughs> that's not how it works. You don't know what you're suffering in your reality. That's not how, that's not how fucking, fucking parallel dimension theory. That's not, that's not how that shit works. I was so fucking mad when, I, when, they, were, when they said that shit. Like, we have to stop suffering. Like, wait, suffering didn't do anything. <laughs> Literally, as far as they established so, the suffering in this uh-huh. timeline, he is the hero. Like, he is still the hero. Because suffering is always still the hero. But, but as far as we know, this suffering is still a good person right because we haven't seen the actual sephiroth this uh-huh. this this reality sephiroth but no they're like oh yeah we, we, gotta, we gotta go kill sephiroth now we I, we don't know he could be good he could be bad he could be a baby we, we, we gotta go kill him now because we just met his evil self from the future who tried to kill us i was like wait fuck is this? this is so i was so fucking mad like it makes sense if it's the sephiroth from their timeline from their mm-hmm. reality who traveled back in time to um to to kill the world right that makes sense for you to go kill sephiroth right but no right. the sephiroth you fight is a fucking sephiroth from, from, from like a, from like from like the fifth time from like a fifth reality to from the fifth reality twice we move in the family that God, fucking shows yeah. up that you fight i was like i was like they literally make those sense when to go fight sephiroth and this they're literally just starting shit with sephiroth for no fucking reason it so fucking, it's so fucking stupid. I was like, why? Uh, okay, yeah, God, I, I see what you mean. I literally, like, okay, so the gameplay, this, this game has good gameplay, right? There's a lot of good gameplays, but holy fuck, this story is hot fucking. There's just a lot of questionable decisions that they should have done. Uh, which I will read more about in my in the next part of my Final Fantasy 7 remake rant. Oh <laughs> Whenever this is all interconnected. Mm-hmm. Tune in, tune so, in to the next episode, the next podcast where I continue my rant. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. William. I, I am now two Williams. Okay. Yeah, there are two Williams, yeah. William, so, so yeah, my ongoing problem with Final Fantasy VII Remake, right? Because this is still a yeah. thing, right? Right? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to stop talking about Final Fantasy VII Remake in a spoiler cast at some point. 
<laughs> so at some point. Yeah, not now, some, but at not, some not point. Not now at some point. But so my only point is that this game forces you to play it. There are so many fucking this uh, fucking segment in this game where it just drags on for no fucking reason. For no fucking right, reason. Yeah, you were talking and about just, that earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so literally, shit, you know, right? so so there was a literally a fucking. Wor- fucking bad pay decision where I got out of a cutscene, right? So so I I, I had a mm-hmm. cutscene c- talking to Aerith about the life planet or some fucking bullshit, right? So I go yeah. out of the cutscene, right? I walk three steps into another cutscene. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck was the point of this decision? Why can't you just transition me going from a cutscene to this cutscene? Mm. He literally I was literally in a in a in a, in a two minute conversation just so i can go to another just to i can have like a three two seconds i'm walking around just so they can be like oh no here's another cutscene i was like oh okay wow wow this is fucking worthless jesus christ that kind of reminds me of like well not in the same sense but like metal gear like metal gear solid 4 in particular actually did this Mm -hmm. but then it's like um it's what do you call it like at least with 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 uh, like in the beginning, there's like a like a ten, tw- like fifteen minute cutscene of the opening, you know, where you get like Snake giving a, a bloody monologue, and yeah. then you go to some gameplay. You get to collect some stuff, mm-hmm. and it's like that's like at most when you find all that stuff is probably like a minute or two of gameplay. Then you go start you crawl under the truck, and then mm-hmm. it's another cutscene. But yeah. in that game, it at least has a decency to give you the option to skip the cutscene or not. Mm. But yeah. what you're telling me, it doesn't let you do that at all. No, no, you can skip cutscenes. So, for, for two, you can skip cutscenes. But the problem is, in this game, you can only skip the, the CG cutscenes. Even So, there, there, are, there are in-game dialogues that you can't skip for no fucking reasons. Literally, all the in-game dialogue could be skippable cutscenes. But no, they literally make you sit sit through these conversations. But for two, you can fast-forward through these conversations. So, you don't have to listen to them talk about the fucking, Hey, hey, I need you to go find the missing children, Cloud. Here's, except I could just speed up the dialogue, fortunately but i'm really fucking annoyed how they couldn't make half of these like half of these dialogue that they have in the game nearly every dialogue is it could be miss could be skippable cutscenes because in the game there's a um, there's fucking um um wayfinders not wayfinders um fucking um there's blips on the map that tells you that tells you to to where the fuck to go so these cutscenes are fucking worthless mm-hmm. so also that's the worst the worst part of this game the game doesn't tell you you have a map by the way you know i had to look up how to get uh-huh. the mini map on this game the game doesn't start you off yeah. with the map. You literally oh, it have doesn't to... give you the map at all? No, no, no. It gives you the map, but it doesn't tell you that there's a map. I had to look up, is there a fucking map in this game? Because this fucking game is just fucking... It's just a giant labyrinth of fucking... Because you're in towns, but the way that these towns are, are segmented, they're, they're literally elaborate, so you can't figure out shit where to go. I had to look up to see if there was a, there was a map in this game. There is. You have to press L2 just to access the map that the game never tells you that you have so i literally so wait, spent, like, uh-huh. i literally spent like the first three hours of this game just fucking walking around because i couldn't tell me because i couldn't figure out where the fuck to go because this game so, has stuck because every section of this game looks the goddamn same so it literally just doesn't even give you a tutorial on how to get this no stuff it, it doesn't all. give you a tutorial about it. it just says hey hey here's a it literally tells you hey here, here's the you're you're in the fucking you're in the fucking slums Oh, oh wait, I was like, but then, then it doesn't fucking tell you that there's a map. I literally had to look up them to figure out the goddamn map of this goddamn game. <laughs> it's Jeez. really fucking annoying. And the fact that it, there's also fucking awkward section in this game where you, where you can only walk for no fucking reason. It literally makes you walk because you have the option to run in the overworld, right? But the game mm-hmm. makes it so that, the game makes it so that during these segments where for no reason you can only walk. They're, they're, they're like these fucking dialogue where they're talking, but for some reason they don't make you, they can't allow you to run, even though you're normally you can run in these sections. But no, they're like, no, no, no. You can only walk while these characters talk about, talk, talks about the planet and, and saving missing children, right? I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. So, so then it just drags on for because of that, and I'm so annoyed. There's literally so many sections where the game just literally forces you to be like, oh, hey, you're still playing Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, yeah, you're going to continue playing. Like, there's so many ways that this game could just be sped up. Like, like, I'm not speedrunning this game, right? But I'm like, but mm-hmm. but but I don't want my time to be wasted. But there's like, there's so many sections where it's just literally wasting your time in this game for no reason. Like 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 it doesn't value your time. It just be like, yeah, hey, um, yeah, hey, please, please continue playing Final Fantasy VII. Please can please please give us a reason to to have this game be worth the sixty dollars that you pay for this fucking game. It's so it's so goddamn annoying, honestly. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Sounds like you're going through a fucking tough time. Yeah, we have, some would say I'm going to a virtual revolution. Oh, what a segue. Wow. <laughs> 
William. Yeah. Okay, so I'm still on a rant about Final Fantasy VII Remake, right? Because it never ends. The, mm -hmm. I can never get mm -hmm. off Mr. Nomura's wild ride, alright? Alright, so William, I've been, I've been spending the last five episodes shit-talking about this game and ranting about this game, right? Right? Yeah. If, if everyone mm -hmm. connects, interconnects all of our spoiler cast together, right? I've just been talking shit mm -hmm. around this game for like five episodes now. So I think for this episode, this section, I should talk about the good stuff about this game, right? Because there oh, okay. are because there yeah, are good stuff about this game. Negative. This game isn't as garbage as I makes it as I makes it out to be, right? Mm -hmm. There are good stuff. So one of the things I do like this game is pretty. I'll give it that. It's very, very pretty. All right, things look good in this game. I'll give it that. Right, so, so mm -hmm. that's good. The combat system in this game is peak. They took everything that was wrong with Final Fantasy XV's combat system and re. 15's combat system and refined it. Now it's good. It's they don't they're like, alright, hey, you know Final Fantasy 15 combat system? We'll make it better. We'll mm -hmm. improve all that. Alright, so I like that combat system. I like I like yeah, I like yeah, so it's no longer turn based, so now it's all action based now, so that's fine. It's cool. Okay. I wasn't expecting I was like I was like, there was no way they're gonna make this game turn based like like back then. There's no way they're gonna do that shit. Yeah, so mm -hmm. this action based this game is pretty good and everything. So the characters I like, the characters are cool. I the good thing about this, because 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 like I said, because like how he said how they, how they took out what, and then they stretch it all the way, and they had to keep putting in filler for all the holes, because that even mm -hmm. though they they at least put in these fillers as character development, so we actually know more about the character within with, with, that we spent, so we just don't fucking just have them, because. Okay. Cause Baron the Rose game, he he had he literally had no character. He was just he was just he was just mm -hmm. he was just he was just a terrorist. All right. That's the uh -huh. in the original game, he was literally just a terrorist. He was like he was like he was like yeah yeah let's go commit. In this in the original fight, he was like seven. He was like let's go commit terrorism. I was like yeah. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. so at least in this game they give they give explanation to his character, so we find out why he's a terrorist. Like he's still like everyone's still a terrorist, all right. People forget that. Hey, right. hey, you're playing as terrorists, but 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 you're good terrorists, all right. Uh -huh. Yeah, the good is the best type of terrorist, the the good kind. Okay, yeah. Jesus. It's like that. So all so right. so I like how they they also flesh out all the side character, right? So like Wedge, Jesse, and Brick briggs like the side character who died mm -hmm. within like the first two hours of the game they, we we have explanation on them so so they're not as so they're not just two-dimensional um uh, red red shirts is that what the fuck oh, i'm sorry uh they're not red shirts yeah they're not, yeah so they're not red shirt that dies yeah so i like that i like that they mm -hmm. expanded on these characters right so that's cool wait so if they expanded on their character do they still die then uh yeah they still kill jesse oh damn it all yeah right. but, but, but you know what the worst okay. part so in the original game jesse all three of them die Right, mm -hmm. but in this game, they, they give you a fake out with 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 um uh wedge. Uh huh. Now, like it's like uh, at the end of the game, like in, in the original game, he dies, right? So in this game, mm -hmm. they're like this yeah. game, they show him die, like oh no, he died, he got shot. You can't recover from getting yeah. shot. End of the game. Hey yo, I woke up in a bed in my house. What up? What up? Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Oh let's okay. go. Let's go do this Final Fantasy VII remake part two, you guys. Oh my god. Yeah, so yeah, so I so so like I said, cause like I said, with the, cause like I said, I hate the story in this game. The story in this game is fucking everything up until the end of the I think I would say everything up until like chapter 15, 16 is good. It's all 15, 15, 16, it's all faithful it's all faithful to the original game. And then and and, and, and then mm -hmm. the last three chapters, like no more like no fuck it. Fuck it. Well we're, we're gonna Harry Potter this shit. Welcome to Kingdom Hearts. I'm making Final Fantasy versus thirteen. You can't stop me, Square Enix. <laughs> it, it's been ten years since you kicked me off the it's it's been five years since you kicked me off Final Fantasy fifteen. I'm gonna make it. <laughs> so yeah, and because that's when the story gets fucking garbage. Also what so like I said, I like how they fleshed out all the original characters, right? Mm -hmm. So all the and the supporting characters. One thing I hate about this game, so, 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 so that's all the good. Aside, parts. aside from everything yeah, yeah, else, yeah, yeah, yeah. aside from so aside from everything else, I hate, I hate all the new supporting characters. They're fucking. They're so fucking forced in this game. Holy shit! There are new ones. Yeah, they added. They added like a bunch of new characters. William. So in chapter three, right when you're in the mode, they add a new character, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. he, they, they added this guy yeah. who from who's a soldier. Who's a soldier who who likes speed, mm -hmm. right? He's Lightning McQueen. Yeah. I like speed. Where the okay. fuck Lightning McQueen says uh -huh. the speed, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. He appears. He appears I in chapter. Speed. He appears in chapter three. Like, hey, yo, you got a bike? I got a bike. We're relatable now. All of a sudden, that's that's that's, that's entire. Okay. That's entire. All right, William. Guess how many chapters after that chapter he appears in the game? 
After chapter three, nice. there are 18 chapters in this game, all right? So you meet him in chapter three, all okay. right? Mm-hmm. Guess how many chapters mm-hmm. between three and 18 you meet him for the rest of the game? Okay, I'll be generous once. None! <laughs> None! He literally fucks off. He literally appears in one <laughs> chapter to be like, I am speed. I am leaving. That's his character. Oh my god. That's literally his character. Really? That's literally all he does. Wow. He literally just shows up to be like, I am speed. Okay, bye. <laughs> it's, it's like, no, just, I feel I like they were trying really to set like, him up that's... for something, but then he just fucking leaves and we don't see him. I, I don't know if they were trying to set him up for like episode two, but what the fuck? Was, it's literally so fucking pointless. They're literally gonna just save no. it for episode two and it will be the exact same fucking, um, the exact same character introduction. I was like, No, they're saving they're saving him up for endgame. Oh, you're, they're sen- oh, saving he, him oh, up. Oh, he's for gonna endgame. be the new re- re- recurrable character. Jesus fucking. Uh-huh. Alright. Oh, yeah, so, <laughs> so besides from that fucking. Here, 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 here comes back. He's faster than ever. He has like two motorcycles now, oh, so he's yes, faster he, now. He rides two motorcycles. <laughs> exactly. oh, <fuck. laughs> also, this is- Next thing you know, in the third part, he becomes the motorcycle. <laughs> he becomes- he's the ultimate fast. Jesus Christ. Also, <laughs> also, one of the worst new characters, in my opinion, I feel that they introduced in this game is Leslie Kyle. All right. First of all, his name is fucking stupid. His name is two first names. All right. <laughs> His, his name is already <laughs> fucking stupid. Hold on. I'm going to send you a picture of what Leslie Kyle looks like. William, when someone say their name is Leslie Kyle, just imagine what they look like, okay? All right? Yeah, All right. Have, have, have Leslie Kyle in your head, okay? All right? Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So, all right. Yeah. Okay. You have him in his head, all right? He, he, look, he looks cool, right? All right? All right. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. He looks mm-hmm. all right. Yeah, that's the character. All right. This is Leslie Kyle right here. Oh, wait. Fuck. That's too small. Oh, what? Oh, hold on, let me, let, me, let me get a bigger... I can see it just fine. He looks lame from a distance. Oh, hold on, here we go. Here's, 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 here's high quality. This is <laughs> fucking Leslie Kyle. I fucking hate this character. Alright, so... So, you know what the worst part about this character's backstory is? What? What is it? So, 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 as you know, Namor was working on Final Fantasy thir- uh, versus 13, right? And then he got kicked off of yeah. it, right? And then he's still mad about yeah. it to this day. So that in Kingdom Hearts mm-hmm. 3, right? The secret ending, you fight against a Noctis ripoff called Yozora, right? Yeah. This guy no, is is mm-hmm. a Noctis is another Noctis because Namor is so mad that he can't he can't put Noctis in any games anymore because he's no longer he's like because Namor was interviewed he was like oh yeah Noctis is my son I created him he's my boy <laughs> but, but I guess now no, that no. he's mad about getting kicked out he doesn't see Noctis as his son he was like this is my new son Leslie Kyle. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's just yeah. Thing. Okay. Also, this wow. guy forces himself into the story. That's the worst part. It's, 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 it's like so the mm. problem with his character, right? It's not like he does. He literally adds nothing to the story in terms of moving the narrative. Like so, for, so mm-hmm. during the like the end of the game, right? You have to leave, and he's like, he's like, oh yeah, hey guys, I know the way out. I'll show you. All right, cool, Leslie Kyle. Thanks for your fucking help to get us out of this fucking hellhole of the sewers, right? And he's like, mm-hmm. but wait, hold on, we gotta take a detour mission for me. He's like, what the fuck? What the fuck out? You fucking, you fucking piece of shit. And, and then along the way, he's like, and then, and then this is how you force his backstory. He's like, oh yeah, by the way, my fiance disappeared. Okay, that's my backstory. I don't add God, any, really? I don't add anything to the main narrative. That's just my story. It's a good thing we spent. It's a good thing we spent an hour talking about this. I really fucking hate this character. Um, he mm. literally just forces up into the main and insert his narrative into the main narrative for no like it's, it's the worst. It's not like a side quest, right? Where because you know how in side quests you learn about characters' backstory. There's a bunch of side quests in this game where you learn about other characters' backstory, which is fine. That's good. That's fine. I don't care about that shit. But I don't give mm-hmm. a fuck. But I, I fucking hate that fact. That's in the main storyline. Like the worst part. This fucking his backstory fucking does nothing to, to for the character. It was like, yeah, my my girlfriend disappeared. I was like, cool. My girlfriend's right here. Oh, okay, yeah. sure. Okay. So, yeah, I was like, yeah, we're so re- we're so relatable, I'm so, Leslie I'm Kyle. So, what? <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate this. Okay. I fucking hate this guy. Mm, oh no. Yeah, yeah. I I hate him as much as as, as how Dave Bautista has to look after a little girl in like in My mm. Spy. Dude, fuck this movie. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> no, I, I, no, no, we're starting with that. Now you can go into your rant about Final Fantasy VII. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I, okay, so this is the final part. So so, ap- so we've been spending an entire week recording. So this is the final part. Episode 7. Episode, part 7 of my Final Fantasy VII remake. See, I tied it all into Final Fantasy VII. So, so, so I've been ranting. I said some good stuff about the game. I guess I should finally give this game a score or a review or some shit. 
right? Mm -hmm. Right? So, like you said, this game yeah. is very pretty. I like the characters. I like all. I like how they expanded on the original characters. I fucking hate all these new characters. Like fuck Leslie Kyle. God, I hate Leslie. <laughs> this is why you can never trust a character with two first names. All right. This God, this, this is what Pocahontas should have thought when she met John Smith. It's like I can't trust this guy. <laughs> he has two first names. Also, I'm twelve apparently. Apparently, that was You're a thing. Twelve. Apparently, she was twelve. I, I found that out recently. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Pocahontas met John right, Smith when he was when she was twelve. That's how I'm tying oh, Pocahontas God, to the story. By the way, that's the that's that's, that's, that's the, right. horrifying. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so this game is very. I like the combat system. The story is fucking garbage. In fact, well, well, hold on. The story is, is garbage all the way up until the last act. It's all the way. It's, it's garbage all the way mm. up until the last act. Uh, the game, uh, outer world gameplay. It's kind of is fucking tedious in fact it's so padded out and full of so much fucking filler because they want you to play this game mm -hmm. and also here's the thing about this game so so i'm trophy hunting in this game now i'm trying to i'm trying to platinum the game right so one of the yeah. trophies is to complete the game on hard mode right you're like you're thinking oh, i don't know that's, that's not that's not so bad you're playing the game on hard mode right here's the thing mm -hmm. you you don't get you don't get the option to go into hard mode unless you beat the game regularly once that's Lame. That's how. That's how. That's how much. That's how. That's how much content they're trying to fill you in on this game. In fact, that how. In fact, that how this game has such so little content to play that they that they literally force you to replay the game again just to get a trophy. That's how. That's how fucking sad this game is, right? God damn. Yeah. So. So. So they're just really trying to grab your attention. They. They really. They really want game, you huh? to play this game. Because 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 they re because they realized they took a they took a ten hour segment and and they made it into a into a thirty hour game. God damn. Yeah. So I think probably if I were to give this game a, a score, um, uh -huh. I'll probably give it like a six or a seven. Honestly, probably give it like a seven if I'm generous. Like literally, the only good thing about this game is the is literally the gameplay and the and the character development on all existing character. Graphics are nice. It's a very pretty game. It's also this is the thing. That's the thing I hate about Square Enix now is that all they do is just care about making their game look pretty for some goddamn reason. I don't know why. I don't know why why they're so obsessed with making their game look so goddamn pretty. Uh, because you know everyone likes Final Fantasy VII. They want to make this the yeah, best they, looking they, one. Yeah, they want to make this game look really fucking aesthetics. Look really Don't worry, uh, man. It'll look, it'll, it'll, it'll look. It'll be worth it in fifteen years when they release the second. Oh, episode. Worry, so it's gonna take fifteen years for episode two to come out. <laughs> exactly. Like, don't worry. Exactly. Hey, hey, maybe in that time we could find more. We no more will expand on the backstory of Leslie Kyle and this missing and this missing girlfriend. God, that, 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 that no, no, no. Up. Remember, no. Remember, I told you it's all gonna be about biker dude. Okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, He's gonna come back dude, and become dude. faster than that. God, ever. I fucking God, I fucking hate that. <laughs> that I fucking hate so fucking. I've never been so mad at a character until I met Lily. Also, the character is that you. Is extremely unlikable. He literally just shows up to be like, "Hey, yo, what up? You're on a bike. I'm on a bike. Let's have a bike fight." <laughs> That's like, then he just fucking, then he just leaves for the rest of the game. I'm really talking about that. I'm really talking about that. Shit. He just fucking shows up for no fucking reason. Then he just goes away. <laughs> like every other, like, something about right. Uh -huh. Like literally yeah, all yeah. the other characters that they show up and they show in this game is fucking good. Like, um, like, like I said, like I've been saying, they like that they expanded on all the supporting cast, but fucking Christ, these new characters are so fucking garbage. Holy shit! <laughs> like fucking, like, uh, mainly, fucking mainly, amazing. mainly Leslie Cobb because he forced himself onto the main story. Like the worst thing about Leslie Cobb is that that one of the missions involving him is in the main game story. It's not a, it's not a goddamn side mission because. Most of the fucking uh, side character, new new characters, mm -hmm. are, are, are optional mini quest bullshit you do it is. But no, he literally forces himself into the main storyline just so he can seem cool, just so he can impress his missing girlfriend so that she hopefully comes back to him. God damn, dude. <laughs> but of all, yeah, yeah, probably seven, seven, seven for this game. So seven, seven if I'm generous. I really, I really want to give this a six, but, but the fact that the gameplay... The gameplay, the gameplay just saves the gameplay and the character development on the original cast is what saves it. Yeah, fuck, except is what saves it. Fucking story is absolutely fucking gross. I don't know how anyone could could defend this game. Holy shit! Also, that's the worst part about this game is how this game was marketed. This game was kept marketing as as a remake, like like a like a remaster of mm -hmm. the original Final Fantasy VII remake. But no, no, that that's a that's a whole lie. That whole remake. Subtitle is a goddamn lie. It's the English just called this Final Fantasy 7 reimagining. That's what this game is more. This game is more of a reimagining than an actual remake of the game. Because because when because when they said remake, everyone literally 
because the worst way they advertised as oh yeah this is a remake of Final you guys remember Final Fantasy 7 we're remaking this for the modern age they're like all right cool cool it's that no that's a lie this game is literally just more of a more of a goddamn reimagining is what told to me off because you fight because you fight Sephiroth from the future and some dumb shit so, oh, God. this story is so fucking bad I don't literally I don't know anyone can defend this fucking game <laughs> I mean, you know, you got people who who uh, uh, over the world who will defend anything because they like it. It's yeah, like, oh, if you don't like it, then you're you're shit. Oh, whatever. Do you, you think there are you people who are suck. defending you, you Angel's just Fallen? Game. I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. No. That's. Oh God, I was really. You know, honestly, I would have preferred if we just got talk about Final Fantasy rather than this movie. <laughs> you mean the Final Fantasy you haven't even played and you just been listening to over the course of yeah, seven episodes uh -huh. just rant about Final Fantasy Seven remake? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing. I think I would have preferred that. Hey, all right. Hey, okay, yeah. So hey, that's that's my final thoughts about Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, I don't know who the fuck stuck around for me to start it. I really have to. I'm probably just gonna take all these audio bits and just compile it to one Final Fantasy VII video just for just for convenience, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part is I have to. Uh, this is the worst part is to make this video. So this is me talking mm -hmm. about the video within the video, cause cause I have to edit all of our spoiler cast into one video, right? So I have to line up, sync our audio, I have to export them, right? Then after they finish exporting, I have to convert them into an appropriate file size for it to upload to YouTube. And then after yeah. that, I have to upload all the finished files into another new project file, just so that I could just go through all those video files to look for our audio look for our discussion just so i could put in put put them on the timeline of all the over the course of seven videos to make one oh new God, video dude. i just i literally made more work for me because i didn't just because i just didn't decide to make a final <laughs> fantasy 7 rant video i have to do more work for a final fantasy 7 all right yeah all right all right yeah. so, so welcome to the behind okay, the scenes so welcome gonna... to the behind the scenes at the final fantasy 7 remake video if you, if you decide to stuck okay, around for the song all right sure all right that's it i'm done with sure, this game sure i guess I'm, that's, I'm done I with guess this game this game is just pretty and it has good combat i hate no more right. i hate this story 